All right, everyone, this is Coach Jesus coming at you from Playformance. I uh, really appreciated all of the feedback that I got from the last video. I really enjoyed getting to hear, you know, how much you all enjoyed doing lunges. Um, so for this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of squats. And hopefully we can uh, learn how to tie everything together from the previous video with this video at the end. That way you can kind of like mix and match however you want. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, everybody. So before we get to our actual squats, um, I kind of want to distinguish between our squatting positions that we're going to be using and our lunging positions. Okay. So the way I like to think about it is when I'm lunging, I'm traveling either forwards, backwards, laterally. So if you stick your arms out and you point in every direction, you're traveling in one of those directions, okay? So, you know, I can travel this way, this way, but you see, if you look at uh, just my head, where it is in relation to where it starts and where it ends, in a lunge, if I go here, I'm kind of traveling forward, okay? Now, lunging also facilitates reaching and pushing and sometimes pulling, okay? What squatting does is uh, it actually facilitates uh, uh, going up and down, okay? And it's also gonna facilitate, you know, lifting and, you know, pushing, okay? Overhead, not straight in front of you. So what I mean by that is, let's say if I take a basic squat, if you look at my head, when I do my squat, I'm not traveling forwards or backwards. I'm just going up and down, okay? So the way that works with lifting is, let's say I have something on the ground, I pick it up, I lift it up, and you know I can also press it over my head if I want to. Um, there's different variations of squats that use these different types of mechanics, but uh, I like to kind of make that distinction with squats. So uh, with squatting positions, you're moving mainly up and down. With lunging positions, you're moving in a variety of different directions. Now, each one of them serves a purpose, and it's good to have them all because depending on what you're doing, you may prefer to, you know, pick something up or lift something in a squat uh, rather than a lunge. And... We'll get into where they both kind of meet in the middle uh, because squatting, uh, the ones that we're going to be working on today, we're mainly going to be feet uh, working at the same time together. But, you know, if you go into a lunge position, okay, if I drive forward, it's a lunge. If I go down and up, it's actually a squat. But we'll get into that difference later um, for now. We'll just focus on the basic squatting positions and mechanics. So we're going to be working on two main uh, squat positions with a variety of different depths. And each one of them is going to work out different parts of our body and it's going to serve a different purpose. All right, everybody. So first we're going to get started with our warm up. Um, so our first position is just going to be a seated butterfly position. I'm going to put my hands on my knees. I'm going to try to bring my heels close to my hips. And I'm just going to lean forward and I'm just going to kind of press off of my knees as I rock forwards and backwards. This is really going to open up my hips and it's going to get my body really ready for once we're doing our squats. So the purpose of this is so that we warm up our bodies and also we get that nice range of motion. So when we're doing the squats, we're not doing weird stuff to compensate. So once we do a few of these, we're going to step one leg up. You're going to keep one hand on your knee and then you're just going to reach forward. Okay. So you see how I'm inside of this knee, reaching, and coming up. And I can do the other side. So I can press one hand on my knee. My other arm is inside of my other knee. This knee is pointed up. 
and now I just reach forward and then come back. Alright, so next we're going to work on turning our knees slightly inward. So we're going to start with both feet up, knees are pointed up, and now uh, just pretend like you're a windshield wiper. You're gonna swipe both legs to one side, bring them back, and then you can swipe towards the other side. You can use your hands on the ground for balance. And if you feel like you have pretty good balance, you could take your hands off and try to move just using your core. Once you get this down, then you can start to add a little bit of rotation and turn towards the side that both of your knees are pointing at. So if you look at my left knee and my right knee are pointing in this direction. So I'm just going to turn this way, switch to the other side, turn face that way. Okay. So next one we're going to do, so we're going to start right here we're going to be seated low and then we're just going to reach forward drop our knees to the ground and then we're going to come back to our seated position okay so our feet should be together um, our heels should be touching and when we go forward this is actually going to give our ankles a really nice stretch so if you notice as i'm going forward kind of taking my ankles past the range and then I'm bringing it back, okay? From here, if you wanna add a little bit more challenge, you can open up your knees wide and see if you can lean forward in between your knees and balance here. Okay, so I'm just gonna lean forward. I'm gonna lean back. Forward and back. So we started with our hips. Right now we're doing our feet and our ankles. Our next one is going to involve uh, warming up our knees and our hamstrings, okay? So from here, you're basically just going to elevate and come down, okay? So your goal is to support here using your core and you're working that hinging mechanic that your knees are designed to do. So the knee just opens and closes, and that's really all we're doing right here. So that's gonna be our basic warm up, just to kind of get our bodies ready for uh, squatting. Um, we'll kind of be doing a few other things a little bit later, but for now, this is gonna be how we're gonna start. All right, so we're just gonna do a quick little uh, warm up right here um, it's just going to be a wall sit so what this is going to do is it's really going to teach us how to hinge at the hips and hinge at the knees okay now this is also really going to work our quads so here you know you may not be able to hold it for a super long time um, you know set your own record so you know have a timer you can hold it for a certain amount of time try to beat that time uh, things you want to avoid is putting your hands on your knees because uh, this is actually kind of cheating. Same thing is going to be leaning forward, okay? When we're doing our actual squats, we will be doing a little bit more of a lean, but this is an exercise that's going to build a lot of our muscles. So really what I want to do is just keep my hands out of the way and keep my back flat to the wall, okay? so. You just want to stay here as long as you can. And right now my legs are really burning. Um, so, you know, if I hold this for a really long time, uh, my legs will just fall off, but you know, I'm just going to stop right there. Uh, you don't have to go until your legs are hurting really bad. You just kind of go until you feel like your legs are starting to work. All right, so we're gonna start off with our 
first basic squat. So I kind of like to start with the closest depth. So with our squats, we're gonna have either feet together, feet shoulder width, or feet past shoulder width, okay? Now, each one of these is gonna be um, either more difficult because of either strength and balance or mobility. So whichever one you feel like you're struggling the most in, uh, that's the one you might wanna give a little bit more love to. But we're gonna start off with feet together just because uh, it's really gonna set the foundation for a lot of the other stuff that we're gonna be doing. So if you feel like you need to hold on to a surface in front of you uh, to help you with balance, feel free to do that. Um, for me, I'm gonna, I don't have something in front of me because then I would be blocking the camera. So I'm just gonna try to do my best, okay? So first you wanna start out with feet together. Next, you wanna work on a slight hinging mechanic. So uh, my hips are going backwards a little bit. Now I wanna turn my knees out a little bit and then as I come down, I wanna try to see if I can balance in this position. Now, uh, some of us may round a lot when we first start this, which is okay but eventually we want to kind of get our back as straight as possible okay from this position then i can start to come back up and then i can go back down and try to see how low i can go okay if some of us can only go this low then that's where you want to work okay if uh you can go all the way down then try to work within your range. Now, what's gonna limit us from going all the way down, it's actually gonna be our ankles. If our ankles are not very flexible, it's gonna be really hard to bring our knees to the outside, and it's gonna be really hard to come down super low, okay? So there's foot spacing, and then there's also depth, okay? So here, this is a perfectly good squat right here. If you can get your legs at 90 degrees, that's perfectly acceptable. If you can get a little bit past that, then you know that's even better. But for building strength, that 90 degree point is where you kind of want to focus at, okay? Now, our second one is gonna be feet shoulder width apart, okay? So our mechanics are gonna be exactly the same except our feet are gonna be a little bit more spaced out. So it's gonna give our hips and our ankles a little bit more room, but it's also gonna make a few different things more challenging. So from here, I'm gonna start with my hinge first. So my hips travel backwards. So pretend like you're almost gonna sit in a chair, okay? But don't actually sit in a chair because unless you have a chair behind you, then uh, you'll, you're gonna fall. But uh, I'm gonna start with a hinge, keep my back straight, and then same thing. As my hips go backwards, I'm gonna bend my knees and I'm gonna try to keep my back straight. At this point, I'm just gonna try to come back up and maintain my posture, okay? So I'm going down and I'm going up. The reason I put my arms in front of me is because it helps with balance and it also helps maintain my posture. So if you're struggling uh, with posture and balance, put your arms out in front of you, okay? So front angle, so I'm gonna hinge, okay? Slight bend in the knees, arms go in front, back straight, and then I come down and then I come up. Okay, so we did our closed squat, shoulder squat, and then we're gonna do our open squat, okay? Uh, if some of you do martial arts, uh, this is also known as a horse stance. So it's gonna be the same thing, but it's gonna be slightly different because we're at a wider angle, so you're gonna be using uh, different muscle groups. So from here, I'm gonna hinge back, bend the knees, and try to drive the knees out, okay? Here, chest goes up, and then I can bring my arms in front of me too. Um, 
This is exactly how you do it in uh, a lot of your martial arts. And this one's actually gonna be more focused on your hips, okay? Um, so I'm gonna give you a side angle right here. So I have my wide angle. I'm gonna start with my hinge, a little bend in the knees, chest is pointed up, arms go down or out, and hips go down, okay? So here, you can go for reps, and you're gonna notice that you're working a totally different set of muscles just by switching how wide your feet are placed, okay? So this is gonna be our basic squat. We're gonna be doing more with it later, but for now, I just kinda want you guys to get the basic mechanics of it. So just a quick recap, for all of our squats, it doesn't matter if our feet are together shoulder width or wide. For these, uh, I call this a parallel uh, position simply because our feet are pointed slightly forward, okay? If your feet are pointed forward, you wanna follow those mechanics of hinging, bending at the knee, chest up, and then going down and then coming back up. That's gonna give you the best stability when you're doing this. And I'm sorry for that train. All right, everybody. So this next part is just going to help us uh, with our basic squat. Um, so it doesn't matter if our feet are together, shoulder width, or wide into our horse stance. Um, really what we want is just a small surface that we can uh, comfortably sit on. That way, you know, if we're a little hesitant to kind of go very deep, um, this is going to kind of be our safety net and it's also going to kind of teach us how to hinge because we do this really naturally but sometimes when we try to do it actively uh, our brains are just like what's going on so great way to think about it is you're just sitting in a chair okay but unlike sitting in a chair when I'm doing my squat I'm not going to sit and then just relax backwards okay so from here we're going to start with our feet together. Our hips are going to hinge. Back and chest is going to be straight. Knees are going to bend. And then our hips are going to travel back as our knees keep bending. And my back stays straight. And really my goal is to just sit on the block, okay? Or whatever surface you're using. Now, uh, when we're on the block, one thing we want to avoid is just to like relax altogether because that just builds a lot of bad habits. So what I like to think about it is uh, pretend like this is a really, really, really hot surface. So we live in Arizona. A lot of us have sat down on some uh, really hot benches or pavement or, or something at some point. So try to think about it like that. OK, so you're going to sit down, but you're not going to put all of your weight down because, you know, you're going to burn yourself. So you're just gonna come back up and you're gonna do it again, okay? So you can mess around with all of your different um, depths. So right now I'm gonna be going at shoulder width. So I'm gonna hinge at the hip, chest up, back straight, knees start to bend. As my knees bend, my hips hinge even more. And here I touch and I come back up, okay? Even in your horse stance, and do the same thing, okay? So I'm gonna hinge at the hip, chest up, back straight, knees bend, hinge, and then I come back up, okay? So this is just gonna help us uh, learn how to do things properly, okay? Because a lot of times, you know, we may think that we have something, but it's always good to have either someone or something like this block to kind of keep you honest okay so it's just a quick view from the front i'm gonna hinge back straight knees bend touch and go okay shoulder width hips chest knees touch and go horse stance same thing it's gonna be hips knees chest touch and go
All right, guys, so this next one is going to help us with our basic squat. Now, this one is really just going to teach us how to hinge backwards and not lean so much forward when we do our our squats. Um, this one uh, can be a little bit challenging, so kind of try it, uh, you know, do your best with it. But we're going to start standing right in front of a wall now if i put my arms up it's going to make it a little bit more challenging but first we're just going to start with arms to the side okay now here i have to keep my chest straight because uh there's a wall in front of me and it's going to stop me from overcompensating so here same thing hips hinge knees bend and then my chest stays straight and then i come up Okay, so that's gonna help me with my squat mechanic. If I wanna make it extra challenging, I can put my arms overhead. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna engage my back a lot more. And uh, it's just gonna make it a lot harder, okay? So from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hinge at the hip, bend the knees, chest up. I'm gonna come down, and then I'm gonna come back up. So that's going to be an extra little drill to kind of help us get our squats uh, really nice and solid. All right, guys, so here I have this uh, nice little setup. Um, I'm using spots, but if you have tile at home, you can definitely just use your tiles. If you have a twister board, then, you know, it's basically what I have here, and you can use that as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna kinda start on one spot, and depending on where your feet end up, that's the type of movement that you wanna try to go for. So let's say I have two feet in one spot or one tile, you know, I can do my, my close squat or I can do my plie, okay? Uh, if I step over to one of the other spots, I can do my shoulder width squat or I can do my second position plie. If I go over to another wider spot, I can go into my sumo position or I can go into my horse stance. So staying within a straight line is really just going to help you develop your squat positions and it's going to kind of teach you the range. Now putting this together with the last video, you can start to see how far can you actually make it to all of these different spots, okay? So let's stick to the ones that are close to me now. So like, let's say I move to this blue one in front of me. I can do pretty short uh, lunge, or let's say I wanna move to that yellow one. I can do, you know, a deeper lunge. Uh, if I wanna move to this green one behind me, same thing, I can do a short lunge or let's say I want to move to that red one behind me. Uh, I can do my Cossack squat. Well, <laughs> now I can try to come back up. Uh, let's say I want to move to that purple one. You know, I'm like, huh, what sort of movement 
really facilitates moving into that spot. So right there, I'm gonna go with my corner lunge, okay? Same thing for that yellow one, I can do my corner lunge. Uh, let's say I wanna move to that green one. Uh, I can go to my fencing lunge. Same thing for that red one, okay? Same thing for that purple one. So the, the ones that are further out are just gonna challenge you a little bit more. So I can go, ha, oh. okay. Um, let's say I wanna go for uh, that one, but I don't wanna move with this foot. I don't wanna step here. If I step here, this is gonna take me to my skater lunge, okay? And same thing here, you know, you can work going from a lunge to a squat. So let's say I wanna go deep lunge into a squat here, here, okay? And you can, you can mess around with it. So let's say I'm starting back here. Okay, I wanna go second position, do my squat here. Now think about where my feet are pointed at. So I either have the option of going fencing, okay, here, I can go Cossacks here, or, um, you know, I can go corner. So try not to move your feet position too much when you're going from one spot to the other, because uh, that's actually gonna challenge you. And it's gonna force you to kind of put them all together in a way where you're gonna be using all of these movements. So this is called the stick drill. So really what you can do is uh, if you just wanna work your squats, you can pick a squat position and just try to catch the stick as you're squatting. So you can do my basic squat. I can do my close squat, so I can go here, here, pass it in different directions. So it's really gonna teach me that dynamic movement um, because a lot of times when we move, it's not super rigid, you know, we're just kinda going where our bodies take us and uh, we're reacting to external environments. And this little guy is a really good external environment. So let's say I wanna go into an open position, okay? I can do the same thing, okay? Uh, if I go into a wide stance, definitely do the same thing, okay? Go up, catch, and if I wanna start to incorporate my lunges, this is where this, this little guy really shines, okay? So, it's pretty much just a broomstick, but depending on which direction it goes, I'm gonna have to travel to catch it. Okay, now you can stick to squats if you want. So what you can do if it goes backwards, you can hop back, squat down to catch it. If it goes forward, you know, you can work on your jumps here and try to catch it. Uh, right there, I dropped it, but you know, if you drop it, that's all right, keep going. So for my lunges, I can do the same thing, but uh, I'm just gonna add a step, okay? So if it's going back, I can take a back step, back step, okay? Um, if it's going forward, take a forward step, I can take a forward step. If I switch which hand I catch, I can also switch which lunge I do. So if I catch the opposite hand that I step with, it's my basic lunge. If I catch with the other hand, you notice it starts to turn into my fencing lunge. If I go off to the sides, I can go lateral lunge, lateral lunge, okay? If, I, if it goes really far back, I can go, you know, Cossack backwards, okay? Uh, let's say I wanna mix it up a little bit, okay? I can go skater, skater. If it goes, uh, off to the sides. I can also go corner, corner, 
Okay, um, I think that's all of our lunges. So you can mess around with it. Uh, at first you can pick which direction you want the stick to go. And eventually you can, uh, if you have a sibling or someone around you, you can then just ask them, you know, like, let the stick, you, you tell the stick where to go and I just have to react to it. So here I just let it go and I notice it's going this way. Uh, if you want to add a little bit more of a challenge, add a spin and then try to catch it. Okay. Um, lots of different things you can do with this one. I really love this drill. Uh, so you can hear from my voice, really gets your heart pumping and it's, it's just fun. Like you just try to see if you can catch it before it touches the ground. Now, ideally you wanna have something with a handle that way you try to aim for the handle and not the bottom part of the stick. Okay, because if I aim for the yellow part, it's gonna make it a lot harder and I'm gonna have to like really reach a lot further when I catch, okay? I may miss it, but that's really what I'm developing here. So, you know, you can work your squats, you can work your lunges, uh, and you know, you can kind of mess around with it however, however you want. Uh, if anybody comes up with something new, let me know. I want to learn it. All right, everybody. That's a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Hopefully you're not getting dizzy from all this, but had a blast. I'm really tired and hopefully y'all get a nice little workout from here. Y'all have a good day.